Well, we're excited to offer a new patio option. And uh, what's exciting about this, most of our competitors will have a ramp that'll go uh, vertical, and then they'll have an awning that is an option, and then some guardrails. Ours is a complete patio system that can give you a three season room as well. Um, so right now we just want to give you a quick shot of what it looks like stored inside. This is actually your roof. Um, these are the, the sides that you'll see once we've put it up and set it up. And, uh, but it all stores nice and neatly just in front of the ramp door. There's nothing to really lift. It's all hinged and we're gonna, you'll see the gas shocks in a little bit to help me lift it up as we set it up. I'm just gonna pop open my uh, ramp door just like I would in any other option. I'm gonna pull down the ramp door. When I walk into here, there's a lanyard that keeps the uh, roof from uh, moving going down the road. So it's just a little pin system. Pull that out, now that loosens it up. You'll see the gas shocks make it nice and easy to lift it up. The first trick is to uh, get these poles right here out of the storage area and into the, the position to hold up the ramp door. I'm gonna unlatch the strap that's attached to the ceiling right here. So this just comes down. There's still one holding some of the storage stuff. You'll see that this, this pole can go right into the pin right here. And then I have another pin to just uh, kind of hold it in and secure. Okay, so we're gonna push right here. This gives me the leverage and the position until I hear it click. So now it's in there and it'll hold it up. Pull that out. Push this out until it clicks. We got three different levels of adjustment depending on rain and for level, all that good stuff. But now that'll keep that from coming down. Next thing is we want to get the ramp. This is what you would do if you're going to load your toys or whatever in those scenarios. So now you have a nice roof over this, keeping it dry if you're loading in the rain or whatever. Um, but the next phase, we want to make this a patio in a room. So we got to do the, the ramp door. All right, so this is the cable. We got two of them on each side, or one on each side. Um, so you have a little spring latch here. It's easier if I don't get my thumb in there. You'll see the little spring system. We're gonna put, just hold the ramp door up. This will slide right, actually take the spring part in first. Hear that click in there? Now it holds my door at a 90. I can do the same thing again on the other side. I'm just gonna hop up here. Uh, one of the things we notice, you want to lift up just a little bit. That'll make it easier to slide this in. You take the spring edge in first, and the back will lock in there. Now we got them both secure and ready to go. All right, so this is our, our patio option. Um, if you just want to open deck to be up higher or whatever, works great for that. But the nice thing now is we can take it a step further, make this into a screened in room or an actual full enclosure with windows. So we'll show you that. There are straps that hold everything in place up here. What I'm holding on to here is just a little transition piece that we've made from between the ramp door and the floor so you don't have this gap of where the spring is. The rubber goes up against the trailer. The other part towards the ramp door. We'll do the same thing again here. Um, there's three uh, strap holders for each one of the sides so I'm just gonna unhook this one here. We let that drop down on this strap, there's one wall. I gotta have it on the other side of these poles, the uh, the screen area or the enclosure area. So we'll drop that down. Each one of the sides has a nice little Velcro. Tie that in. The sections themselves have a zipper. So we're gonna pull this out to the edge and this will zip in this side. This, put it on the other side of the hole, like this corner. Here, just like I want it. Well, this is extra 64 square feet of room, so it really makes this a spacious back living area. All right, so we're outside. I want to get these corners. We zip that corner in. Get the next corner zipped up. They just simply hook into each other to keep the wind from uh, pulling it off. There's one in each corner and then another one uh, in the front. <laughs> right in here. Now you got a nice place to hook in there. So there's one in that corner and you just want to look for a bungee in all four corners. That holds it nice and tight. 
Okay, so now we got it set up inside. It's a completely enclosed room. Um, but what the beauty is, is you can set out here if you got the lake behind you. Um, we have these zippered off. So you can roll them down. It becomes a, a screen in porch. This uh, will just simply roll up like this. So now I want to show you the side one because it's a little bit of a trick because of the size of it. So what we try to do is just fold it into a, like a triangle and then kind of roll it like this. You just have a nice little strap here to hook it up. Now I got a great big sunroom. Um, no wind. It's kind of chilly here in uh, Indiana today so that I could still have the sunshine but not have all the uh, wind blowing through. So, now we have it with uh, all the, the windows up. Same thing again as, as when we took the, the windows down. This will give us a nice breezeway, give us a nice screened in room, keep the bugs out, we'll let that fresh air come in. So same thing again as we did on uh, the rest of it. Just roll it up.